Hi kids, today I have a handful of seeds in my hand and I'm standing on some soil. Do you think this is good enough soil for the seeds to grow or for plants to grow? If you look at this kind of sand, do you see any plants growing from the sand? Let us scatter, uh, scatter some seeds and see what will come of these seeds. And now we have moved to this place where there's a lot of bricks and the ground is hard. Do you think that these seeds will grow? And if we move back, we have these concrete slabs. Do you think these seeds will grow? And now we've moved to a place that has a lot of grass, which means the ground is really good to grow some seeds and grow different kinds of plants. Let's scatter these seeds here and see what will happen to these. And if we move back, we see a place that has a lot of nice growing plants and flowers, which means the soil and the ground is very good to grow seeds. Let's scatter these seeds and see what happens to them. As you can see, over there, there's a lot of water coming and they're watering the grass for the plants to grow. What do you think seeds need in order for them to grow into beautiful plants and beautiful grass or different kinds of flowers? We wanna see, we wanna see Jesus lifted high. We wanna see, we wanna see, we wanna see Jesus lifted high. We wanna see Jesus lifted high. We wanna see, we wanna see, we wanna see Jesus lifted high. Step by step, we're moving forward, little by little, taking ground. Every prayer of powerful weapon, strongholds come tumbling down. We want to see, we want to see Jesus lifted high. We want to see, we want to see, we want to see Jesus lifted high. We want to see, we're going to see, we're going to see Jesus lifted high. We're going to see, we're going to see, we're going to see Jesus lifted We want to see. We want to see, we want to see Jesus lifted high. We want to see, we want to see, we want to see Jesus lifted high. We want to see, we're going to see, we're going to see Jesus lifted high. We're going to see, we're going to see, we're going to see Jesus lifted high. 
hi guys i'm a farmer and i've been working on some projects for the past eight weeks and i've been using my farming journal and these are my journal entries week one the sun was shining and the ground was fairly dry i went out early this morning and sowed the maize seed in my field the wind began to grow to blow while i was working so i think some of the seeds may have fallen on the path or at the side of the field never mind we'll soon see when the seed starts to grow week two i noticed quite a lot of birds flying over the field today especially near the path i think some of the seeds must have fallen there instead of in the field i won't get any maize from those seeds because the birds are already eating them week number three it rained for a bit this morning but the sun is shining now. The sun and rain are just what my seeds need to help them grow. Week number four. The sun is shining again. Wow. I went to look at my maize field. The seeds are starting to grow. I can see lots and lots of tiny green shoots coming around the soil and through the soil. Oh dear, it looks as if some of the seed has fallen on the rocky ground at the edge of the field. It won't grow very well there. The ground is too hard and stony for, this, for the roots to grow properly. Week number five. It seems to be raining this morning. I think I'll stay indoors, but all this water will be good for my new plants. Week number six. The plants are beginning to grow quite tall and green. All this rain means I haven't had time to weed my field. And look here, some of the plants aren't maize at all. The weeds are so tall that the maize plants will not have enough room to grow. The plants among the weeds are looking yellow and droopy, not healthy and green at all. They won't give me a good crop. Week 7. We had some more rain, but the rain is sh but the sun is shining again now. The plants have had a good drink. The plants in the field are almost as tall as me now. I can see the ears. I'm going to have a really good harvest this year. The corn is growing on the stems and it looks though I might really have a really, really good harvest this year. Week number eight. God knew exactly what was needed for my maize to grow. The corn has tasseled and the cobs are fat and green. It is almost time to harvest them. Soon, I will have plenty of food for my family and friends. Some seeds to sow in my fields next year too. And some left over to sell in the market. What a lovely harvest this will be. Now we are about to get into jump into life. Jesus told the story about the seeds on the soil. This is called a parable. A parable is an earthly story with a heavenly meaning. He wanted us to understand something even more important than we would think. This story runs deeper. After all the people who had been listening to Jesus had gone home, Jesus then explained the story to his friends. What do you think the story meant? What happened to the seed that fell on the path? Um, what happened to the seed that fell on the rocky ground? And what happened to the seed that fell on the thorns and on the weeds? What happened to the seed that fell on the good ground? If you take a second to think, some seeds started to grow into beautiful plants, but some didn't because the ground might have been too hard or not soft enough for the roots to grow down deep into the ground. Let us pray. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for loving me. I want my heart to look good, to be like good soil so that I can grow to love you more and more. Amen. Today's memory verse is coming from Revelation 3 verse 20. God said, I stand at the door and knock. God's word is like a seed that is planted into our hearts. What kind of soil is your heart? Is it hard soil? Is it good soil that can grow plants or the word that God has planted in us? 
could uh, God's word is the seed and it can only grow in good soil. Jesus wants to be a part of our lives, but he will only be uh, he will only be part of our lives and do so if we let him. This is why he is knocking and we need to invite Jesus into our lives. Goodbye. See you next week and thank you for listening. <laughs>